Hello, this is the 49th Spade, or Casey, from King of Spades Cosplay, here to share our review of JFAX 2019! Ooh. JFAX, which is an acronym for Japanese Animation Film and Art Expo, is an anime convention that has taken place at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel in DeVos Place in Grand Rapids, Michigan during late June for the past three years previously. It was a free event hosted at Grand Valley University in Allendale, Michigan. It's a smaller con with a peak recorded attendance of 5,500. JFX 2019 ran from June 7th to the 9th, which was unusually early in the month for this particular convention. Overall, our experience was fantastic and we'll absolutely be going back for 2020. Let's start with registration. Full weekend badges at the door cost $50. But of course, the earlier you pre-register online, the cheaper it is. Also, JFX offers many opportunities to earn discounted badges and even full badge refunds through volunteering at the convention. This year, I personally hosted three hours of panels and received a full badge refund after I completed all of them. I've seen on other JFX vlogs that there was a line for registration during day one. However, when Jay and I arrived fashionably late, an hour and a half after the start of the con, we were able to just walk right up to the table, show our IDs, and get our badges. So uh, take that advice as you will. The convention area itself is beautiful, and there are plenty of areas around the con to sit and hang out or rest your feet. The DeVos place is quite large, and JFAX only rents out some of the area, so there is a chance that during some of the years of the con, there might be other events going on during the same weekend. But this also means that if JFAX were to grow larger, there's still a lot of room at this location to accommodate them. I feel like this year, JFAX did a good job at using all the space to their advantage. And while there was nowhere that I felt crowded, everything was still in a central location and we never had to walk far for our next event or panel. The official host hotel for this convention is the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel, which is connected to the convention center through a skywalk. Both Jay and I live near enough to this convention that we did not have to get a hotel room, so we can't comment on that aspect of the convention. However, we did go into the hotel for the amazing photo shoot locations it had, and while some of the non-convention guests were confused, they were still polite. Since we didn't stay at the hotel, we had to drive to the city every day. Grand Rapids is not nearly as big as Lansing or Detroit, so even though there was a large arts festival going on downtown at the same time, the drive-in was relatively easy, and there was parking in the garage across the street from the convention center for $12 a day, and in the garage right beneath the con at $10 a day. The underground parking was a lifesaver on Sunday when it rained, as Jay and I both had cosplays that couldn't get wet. So, another convention essential is food. Well, there is a con concession stand in the hall of the dealer's room and a coffee stand in the main area of the con, they are, of course, at convention prices. There are plenty of places only a short walk away from the con that you can go to for, for more and maybe cheaper options. Next up is the dealer's room and artist alley, which are in the same large hall as registration. This year, the area was set up so that you would walk past the tables that advertised other conventions first, then it opened up to the artists on the right and the dealers on the left. The artist selection was really great for the size of the con, and if JFX does grow larger, there's room for more, as stated before. A lot of artists this year had original art, and most offered things besides the regular, regular prints, charms, and stickers. The dealer's area was adequate. I personally buy official merch almost exclusively online, so I don't really have much an opinion on dealer's rooms in general, but JFAX's seem to tick off most of the boxes. They had tables selling all kinds of food and merch, including figures, Blu-rays, and discounted manga. As for panels, there was actually quite a bit of diversity in panel content this year. Jay and I unfortunately did not go to go to very many panels, but we did enjoy the majority that we did see, which is understandable as most of the panels JFX has are completely fan run. As a first time panelist myself, the experience was really amazing, and even though I messed up in some of my panels, everyone was very nice. Also, communication with the panel coordinator was great, and they were able to answer any questions I had in a timely manner. The only criticism I have is that the official schedule was only released online a few days before the con. As a panelist, I did get the schedule about a week earlier than that. Last year was the same way, so I don't expect that to change anytime soon. This convention also offers a video game room, table, tabletop game room, manga library, and maid cafe. The video gaming this year was greatly improved from last year. Previously, all the games were in a hallway in an area about the size of two, two of JFX's panel rooms. This year, they moved them to a much larger room, and from the little time that we did spend in there, the game selection was 
From what I could see, the game selection was also better. JFAX also has voice actors and cosplay guests. This year's big guest was Steve Bloom, and every attendee received one free signature from him. That's all I really have to say, I guess. We didn't really have any interactions with them, besides Kermada Cosplay, who's a big cosplay name in our area, and she's always wonderful. There's also a blood drive going on this weekend. I love it when cons do something extra for the community. So I spent about a half hour donating blood and got a free shirt. Actually, the women working the blood drive were the most entertaining people our weekend. Seriously, they were fantastic. Of course, as cosplayers, we participated in the cosplay contest. JFAX is a little different because they have their contest on Sunday near the end of the con, while they have their fun and unjudged cosplay walk on Saturday. Jay and I signed up for the contest at the con on Saturday, and we were judged late Sunday morning. If you want to hear more details, we talk a lot about the judging process in our Day 3 vlog, so go ahead and check that out. It was a great experience, and both the judges and other cosplayers were fun to talk to. Our favorite parts of this con are their beautiful photo shoot locations either inside the convention center or just outside of it, if we haven't mentioned it in the vlogs enough, and also the overall chill atmosphere of the con. I actually lost my cell phone after my last panel on Friday, and I ran around the con trying to find it. After backtracking, I ended up going to con ops, and they had my phone on a charger just in case someone tried calling it. I was so happy that a person had turned it in, but what happened the next day was what really surprised me. Hi. Oh, yes. Okay, I did. that's good. Well, actually, I just got to think about that. We, we didn't even leave here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So, she right. found it. Yeah. That's good news. Yeah, Thank someone turned into a uh, con ops. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> one happy thing there. Yeah. Yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for asking. This guy was one of the people who ran the panel right after mine in the same room and had actually taken time out of his panel to help me look around the room for my phone. Then he came up to me on Saturday to see if I had ended up finding it. Honestly, this is just one example of the amazing people at JFAX. We have personally never had a bad experience with anyone associated with the JFAX staff and as mentioned previously, everyone they had chosen to run and judge the cosplay contest were wonderful. JFAX 2020 will be in late June again, at the same location, the 26th to the 28th, and the theme will be Summer Games. You'll definitely be seeing both Jay and I there for our favorite hometown convention.